Types of atrial fibrillation and difference in approaches. Created by Upolife. Atrial fibrillation, also called AF, is becoming a common health issue for more and more people. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent serious complications. Firstly, to properly treat AF, your doctor needs to identify the exact condition you have. Over the years, doctors have determined four different types of AF. Because of their unique characteristics, doctors have designed different treatment plans for each type. These are four types of AF we know today. 1. Paroxysmal AF. The term paroxysm refers to a sudden episode or a symptom of a disease. Symptoms tend to start suddenly and resolve without any treatment. An irregular heartbeat can last between a few seconds and a few weeks. In most cases, symptoms resolve within 24 hours, without the use of medications. Doctors can recommend some methods to help the heart rhythm return to normal. One of them is the cardioversion procedure, where electroshock resets the heart rhythm. As these patients are exposed to the risk of stroke, a doctor may also prescribe anticoagulant drugs, which make it harder for the blood to form clots, thus preventing stroke from happening. 2. Persistent AF. This type of AF also tends to happen spontaneously. In the case of persistent AF, patients experience symptoms longer than seven days. It is always treated with proper medications, including anticoagulant drugs and cardioversion. Treatment may also include beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. 3. Long-standing persistent AF. This type of AF continues for a long time. Despite proper treatment, in this case, symptoms do not go away for over one year. Therefore, this type of AF is more difficult to manage. One of the primary treatment goals is the prevention of blood clots. One of the methods that are always prescribed to deal with this condition is anticoagulant drugs. In addition, it is also important to restore the normal heart rhythm. That can be done with the use of antiarrhythmics. Doctors can also prescribe beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Unfortunately, the use of such medications rarely helps in the case of long-standing persistent AF. Therefore, more invasive methods, such as cardioversion and catheter ablation, may be used as well. 4. Permanent AF. In case the long-standing persistent AF has not been treated properly, it can transform into permanent AF. Researches suggest that this condition causes the symptoms to evolve, endangering the lives of patients. With this type of AF, the main focus is to prevent stroke. This is why patients are being treated with the use of anticoagulant drugs. Other medications, such as antiarrhythmic drugs, are commonly used as well, to help maintain the heart rhythm as normal as possible. Something that is applied for each of these four different types of AF is lifestyle changes. AF patients are advised towards pursuing a low-sodium and low-fat diet. They are also advised to quit smoking as well as limit their caffeine and alcohol intake. In addition, doctors recommend regular physical activity to prevent a number of health issues. Such issues are obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Also, as patients with AF tend to have high anxiety levels proper relaxation can help reduce damage. Conclusion In case you are experiencing AF you need to receive proper treatment. But, to develop the most effective treatment plan you need to detect what type of AF you are dealing with. Learn more about how to evaluate your heart health and manage your heart condition at home by visiting upolife.com.